1972 Beetle left hand drive 1300cc convertible this one in orange been in the country since 1983 uh, owned by the current vendor for some 25 years uh, and was restored 25 years ago the current vendor that owns it is a Beetle restorer as you can see by the attention to detail and the finish on this one I've been informed that the fact that it has internal door locks and a clock makes that bit quite rare and that the new running boards along the side are new billet aluminium running boards so body work wise we're going to start off along the bonnet and work our way around like I say it's a beetle restorer so you can kind of see that in the finish and attention to detail on this one the bonnet's all lovely and straight as we come up both sides there no marks, dents or any signs of corrosion all lovely and straight across the scut as well work our way around the right hand side there and up the windscreen again all nice and tidy the paint is all lovely and orange and fresh looks really good nice and shiny as we come down the bottom half here there's a few little stone chips underneath the bonnet there nice and tidy around the lights around which are lovely no pitting on those the lights themselves are nice and clear no cracking or stone chips in the glass bowls the bumper itself nice and straight there's a few little marks in the chrome work but the rubber strips all good no dings or dents in that there same on the right hand side all nice and tidy around the lights around as we come around the wing now again no corrosion there all nice and straight a little bit of a scratch down the bottom half there you can see that that's on the driver's front sorry the right hand side front as you come up the seam there all lovely and straight the wings nice and tight against the rest of the bodywork what we'll do quickly is we'll jump on the roof and have a good look at the roof. The roof's in lovely condition again, nice and straight, not sagging anywhere, no rips or tears. The back window, which is glass and heated, is lovely. Around the rest of this sort of canvas roof, all nice and tidy. Along the seams, nice and tight as well. In all the right places, across the seams here. Again, no stitching coming away. It's not badly creased either, and it's an all nice and black. It's not faded anywhere especially across the front here where we normally get some sag and some rips and tears you can see all the stitchings there lovely and tight so no issues at all with the roof that I can see of as we come down the right hand side door again lovely and straight there no major marks things or dents there that I can see at all tiny little bit of pain flake behind the handle which is kind of in line with the handle if you're looking at it from that point of view as you come down the rear court again lovely and straight like I say, these new billet aluminium running boards, no problems at all with those. Up onto the rear arch, again, nice and tidy, got a tiny little bit down here. But remember this car, I've been informed that this car was restored some 25 years ago. So it's definitely stood the test of time, that. As we come around the rear quarter, rear wing, sorry, again, lovely and tidy on the back. Down below the bumpers, all good. Nice wheels and tyres on this one as well. Wolf Bird Edition center caps there so that might be the wheels light lenses on the back again crack free on the right hand side and the left hand side all nice and straight as you can see nice and shiny easy to be seen in red as we come up onto the engine cover again nice and tidy lovely and straight you've got a little bit of a stone chip here got a tidy bit at the back of the bonnet cover there the rest of that rear sort of scuttles lovely and tidy as is around the exhaust see that there there's no dents or bad marks across there at all the back bumper itself all nice and shiny a few little marks in it again the rubber is all good as we come round onto the left hand rear wing again all nice and straight got a little bit of a scuff in the paint there see that there as we come up the wing again nice and tidy across the seam fitting nice and tight a little bit of a bleb there so that is the left hand side rear quarter as you work your way down the arch the rest of it is all nice and straight up onto that rear section there the rear quarter again all good off that little bleb so a little bit of paint away on the bottom corner there if you can see that 
as we move across the top onto the driver's door which is the left hand side again all nice and straight across a few little stone chips which we can see there but back edge of the door is all right a little bit of a mark there on the back edge of the door and a few light scratches around the door lock as we come down onto the passenger sorry left hand side front a little bit starting underneath the chrome trim there you can see that so that's on that sort of middle section there next to the wing as we work our way around we're going to the interior now we're going to start off on the left and the right hand side we'll work our way around door cards are all nice and tidy the seat itself on this side is all nice nice and firm as well we've got a little bit of a rip so that is on the far bolster on the left hand on the right hand side sorry so the passenger seat the carpets are all good you got like a rubber mat set in there the dash tops all nice and tidy no cracking in that dials are all nice and easy to read Wolfsburg edition steering wheel there as well all nice and tidy in there you lift the back seat forward we've got a torno here which i will lift out that goes across the back of the roof the roof's fairly easy it's just manual you've got a couple of clips at the top here see those there you fold those down and the roof comes down nice and smoothly and with a torno just sorting it out there you can see we've got a nice later cut off the back seats are nice and tidy no rips or tears in there all nice and straight the inside of the roof is nice as well nice and clean and tidy in there as well no sagging or rips or tears on that as we work our way around we're going to go into the driver's side which is the left hand side again nice and tidy there no problems with that the seat itself is in nice condition a little bit of wear at the stitching there you can see a bit of piping has come away carpet set again all all right with that rubber mat into the back again from this side again nice and tidy no rips or tears in there at all seat doing what it should falling back and forward let us say the dials all nice and easy crack free dashboards all nice and straight we'll go into the bonnet there which is your storage space again is all presentable and clean in there a little bit of wear to the to the cardboard mat we've got the various bits and pieces in a box there we'll go into the engine bay now and then i'll get it started up 1300 cc this one looks to be all nice and tidy in there not covered in oil or anything like that i'll get it started up here toby's gonna fire it up firing straight in the light there A little bit of choke on it, but firing straight up. So a little bit of a rev there. Sounds lovely that. No, no, got loads of smoke coming out and spitting everywhere. Taking over quite happy. Makes a good noise that one. Taking over nice and happy. And there you have it. The 1975 Beetle convertible left-hand drive. 